Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're all doing well. And today, my friends, we're here with Warhammer 2. It's going to be the Empire facing off against the High Elves. Carl Franz facing off against High Elf Carl Franz. Should be quite a bit of fun. Eltharian the Grim coming in on his mighty bird. Let's get this party started and have some fun battles for sure. Man, oh man, can't wait to get these factions in the new game. So as far as the build goes, it's going to be kind of an old school one. This is something that I've had quite a bit of success with in the past. We are going to be using the Sunmaker. Now, Sunmaker is a little bit risky against High Elves if they do go with Bolt Throwers, but it has 480 range and the High Elf Bolt Throwers have like 350. So in my experience, the Sunmaker has been able to accrue some pretty serious value. And even though it might seem like a bit of a meme, I've actually had it win this matchup for me many, many times here. So front line is going to be a combination of Spearmen and some State Troopers especially the Sigmar Sons, the true men of men coming out to uh, defend the Emperor, and they're unbreakable, of course. And honestly, these guys are pretty much an auto-take. And yeah, look at the armor on these guys. I wonder why the uh, the little comets aren't painted gold. I feel like that's a little bit of a mistake. It should be painted gold. My minis are. But Karl Franz is great. He's a great fighter. Very, very good at battling any of the health characters against Tyrion, Teclis, whatever, Eltharian the Grim. And I have to say, when I first loaded into this game and saw that Felcon had brought Eltharian the Grim, I was like, oh man, I'm dead. Because he would have Tempest, right? And in Warhammer 2, you can't land your flying characters. So what he could do is Tempest me up in the sky, just do a ton of damage, and then shoot me with some missiles, and it would be really bad. But thankfully, he wasn't expecting Karl Franz. Felcon and I were on chat in this game, and he was like 100% expecting Volkmar the Grim. So he was kind of looking to just beat up Volkmar with Eltharian and, uh, you know, didn't bother bringing Tempest, which is pretty fortunate for me. Now, the rest of the army is going to be some Great Swords of Sigmar in the back. Great Swords are decent against High Elves. They don't trade super well against, like, the High Elf armor piercing. But in general, if you're able to find some Spearmen or, you know, go after a beat-up White Lion unit after you shoot them a little bit, the Great Swords will win that fight. So Great Swords, Spears, Silver Bullets here in the back, pretty much an auto-take. And if you are going to be going with Karl Franz, you almost always want to bring a Jade Wizard, and that is it for my army. Now, for the forces of the Dark Lord, it is going to be Pistoliers. No, not my. I thought they were his Pistoliers. I was like, wait a second, I have two more Pistoliers, but it is going to be two of them for me. Just a great utility unit. If High Elves like to bring dragons, phoenixes, they can really shoot them and do some good work. So, for Felcon's army, it is going to be Illyrian Reavers, Triple Shadow Warrior in the Bushes, Eltharian the Grim up in the sky. The main battle line is going to be White Lines of Krace, which are pretty good against Empire. I would say bringing four or five of them is like always you know, a great idea because they beat most of the Empire infantry. They have missile resist against the shooting, and they also trade very well against Empire Cab, in my experience, just with their good stats. So it's going to be White Lines backed up by a couple Silver Helms on the flanks and some Silver Helms here, the High Elf variant of the Empire Knights. Now the Sunmaker is going to be singing in, dropping some hot seeming payloads on the faces here of the High Elves. Now it hasn't done too much damage yet, but again, the knight is young as they say. And this other uh, white line of Krace unit here did get nuked pretty badly by that firepower. And, you know, we're just kind of switching targets every now and then to make sure we're shooting into more relatively rich, uh, target rich environments. Soul Quench going down, Soul Quench from Eltharian, quite good. Very good at sniping artillery. One of my artillery pieces does get popped in the face right there. So the Sunmaker is going to be paying the troll toll and... Looks like that bug is still in Warhammer 2 where you can like double cast spells. A second Soul Quench actually came in, but thankfully it had the same target. So it didn't end up actually doing more damage there, which was nice. Now, a lot of bows coming in. Shadow Warrior is going to be blasting into the Sigmar Suns, but that's why you bring shields. So we should be able to mitigate most of that firepower for sure. But, uh, you know, it still hurts. And it looks like he's trying to get range of the Silver Bullets, which I don't think he knows are there. They're still hidden at this point. Pistolier is doing a little bit of light skirmishing on the flanks, but Felcon going to be emerging with a huge ambush here from the bushes. We do get the Reaver squad coming out and Silverhelms looking to chase down my Pistoliers. So I do sally forth with some of my brave spearmen to try and screen out this charge. And we'll certainly see what happens. Now Sigmar Sun's going to be piling in the front, battling against Shadow Warriors, which is a you know pretty good fight for me. Granted, Shadow Warriors are good fighters and might be able to put some hurt on me. We'll have to see in a nice little rear charge as well. Spearmen of the flank do get broken despite my best efforts to heal them. Now the Emperor, the uh, the Prince and Emperor, mind you, is going to be going after Eltharian. We did get a good fight and did some good damage to him. So the uh, the true Karl Franz is able to push him back. Great swords are pulled from reserve. So if you look around at the battlefield here, you can see that the Sunmaker uh, still ripping good shots, getting good value, honestly. But my front line has broken. Uh, here there's a big opening. And now the true beasts of Sigmar are going to come out with their great swords, and these guys are so cool. I actually just finished painting a whole batch of them in tabletop, so yeah. And that this is like pretty much the exact paint scheme I'm doing. Although this is actually I think more Reichland. Mine is more like Talapine, but uh, honestly they look pretty damn similar. But engaging, decent fight, fighting two you know white lion units, but uh, obviously they have great armor piercing, so they're going to be in a little bit of trouble. My Zembergriff knights have just been bouncing back and forth between the front line here, while the Pistoliers are providing some screening fire for these silver bullets. Balance power is pretty even at this point. Eltharian has been a little bit less impactful for sure, but now he's going to be landing and battling with some of his spear units, which probably will lead to the eventual terror route over there of my units. 
Then Book of Knights surging forward, trying to push back these Silver Helms and uh, salvage my Silver Bullet position, and they've been getting nukes pretty good. But uh, the entire time, the Sunmaker's done some pretty fat damage. It's been able to really wreck these Shadow Warriors. You can see their HP is quite bad. Also, the Spearmen here are in a little bit of danger. And now on the flank, we do get the old Pistolier still doing a great job. And they're not bad in combat either. If I had to, I could use them as like a bit of a screening room. But the Demis do get a good charge onto the uh, White Lines of Grace. And with the Prince and Emperor there kind of helping them out, they might be able to get a break. But at this point, we do pull back with the Demis. Going to be refreshing that charge because now my Spearmen should be able to beat these White Lines considering they're so damaged and low. So felt pretty okay at this point in the battle. It was kind of like a situation where like, okay, I have my Sunmaker. Uh, most of the aggression has been thwarted. Let's kind of sit back, use the rest of our ammo, make sure we don't lose Karl Franz to some stupid stuff and get the Demogriff Knights to kind of keep pushing around the battlefield. Big regrowth going down actually in my Great Swords here. And uh, Karl Franz going to be moving in Earthblood as well. Hopefully the Great Swords will be able to actually cut through these guys. We'll have to see, but they are starting to break, but so too are my guys. So they're going to be running a little bit shameful, especially right in front of Big Daddy here. But, you know, not everyone's perfect. They got to they gotta do their best. And honestly, they were fighting for quite a bit of time in a 2v1 fight there. Up in the sky, Eltharian the Grim has healed with Apotheosis. And Soul Quench is often brought to snipe artillery, if any of you guys are wondering. And that's why he brought that. And it only killed one artillery so far, so it hasn't been terribly devastating. Sunmaker shots, dropping those fat Sigmarite payloads on these bad boys. Only one Sigmar sun left. And I feel like whenever there's one, we have to follow the story. Carl Franz getting blasted by a Soul Quench here, and this guy's just like, hey man, this is great. All my buddies, you know, we're, we're doing our thing. Good to be cheering here, and uh, I'm sure he will uh, be just fine. We'll see if he survives the battle. So a couple Spearmen have rallied back here. Need to get those guys back in business. Demogriff Knights do get the uh, Earthblood with Carl Franz, and uh, Felcon wisely pulls back the Silver Helms while maneuvering his Shadow Warriors over here to start picking off the Demis. Demis with Halberds do have really good armor. They don't have shields, however, so they can uh, take a little bit from that Focus Fire. But having Silver Bullets alive is such a game winner. Uh, you know, obviously they're going to be able to shoot into Altharian. He did pop the Fang Sword, and I just kind of ran away. I was like, okay, I'm just not going to fight him, because that actually makes him good for a short period of time. Yeah, it's one of the few gimmicks he's got right. Pistoliers riding down some of these units here with their Brace of Pistols, going to be riding through the Spearmen. And the High Elves are forming ranks once again. But Prince, I, I think my Prince is going to be able to... Uh, for sure have the little bit more effective trades here. And I still have a huge hammer of elite units via the Demogriff Knights, but nice volley there from Falcon does really wreck my Silver Bullets pretty badly. Zemis are trying to screen out against some of the Silver Helms. We're just looking for fights wherever we can go. So they're going to be maneuvering about, getting ready to take the big charge here. And in the meantime, Karl Franz moving up, supporting the Spears as they get into the Shadow Warriors. Shadow Warriors are good fighters, but they only have 30 armor. So those bad boys certainly can be uh, tanked down relatively quickly. Up in the sky, Eltharian the Grim, looking for some picks, maybe eyeing the Demis, although that's a little bit risky, but it looks like we're going to get the big blob fight. So Eltharian moves into the Demis, I pull the Demis back through Spears, Karl Franz jumps into his cav, we basically did the same thing, but now the Demogriff Knights are going to fall back and try and buffer off with the Spears, but the Spearmen are wavering, obviously a massive thundering charge, plus a terror causing character is going to be very rough, but we use an Earthblood to try and mitigate some of the pressure, and look at this guys, the Sunmaker crew is coming in baby! They got their swords out for Sigmar, they're going to run in there, and yeah, so see how these guys are kind of painted, like the red and white? This is how my entire tabletop army is painted, like that that type of a color scheme. Demi's being absolute middle linebackers, man. In terms of value accrued, about 1,000, which isn't amazing, but um, they've been able to have a good presence on the battlefield. Reichlin, Runefang, and Stand Your Ground active, so their leadership is going to be insane right now. It's at 45 despite being on death's bed. And they're out-trading many of these Silver Helms and High Elf units, which are getting terror routed. And now the true... The true man with the Rune Fang going to be going for the kill on Eltharian the Grim. Meanwhile, we have Spearmen and Pistoliers routing off the rest of the Shadow Warriors. And that is going to be GG well played. So, man, it felt good. This is my first game back in Warhammer 2 in a long time. And uh, it just feels great to play these older factions. And, of course, that's always kind of the paradigm of land battles, right? Like, I love land battles. Honestly, in many ways, I like them more than Domination Mode. But the issue is Domination Mode is a better format for competitive play when there's actual stakes and when there's money on the line and things like that. It's a better format because, like, I'm playing against a friend of mine here, Falcon, right? Whereas if I'm playing, you know, against somebody in the Grand Finals of a tournament who has a bit of a shady history of rules abuses and things like that, you run into situations where it's just not fun for either player. So that's really the paradigm of land battles. I think it's a really good casual format, but um, obviously I think domination is a little bit better for, uh, you know, competitive events for now. We'll see what the future holds. But as far as the value, 2400 on Sunmaker, dude, that thing paid for itself super good. Carl Franz did great, Silver Bullet, Sigmar Suns. Everyone did their job. Even the Greatswords did fine. In terms of big performance for the High Elves, his Shadow Warriors all did really, really good. Eltharian, if he had had Tempest, I honestly think he could have been capable of winning the game. It's that big of a game changer, but you know, Carl Franz is a gambling man. He likes to roll the dice, and uh, hey, we got away with it. So GG, well played. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And man, oh man, I got a lot of good Warhammer 2 battles coming up here on the horizon.